Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you how to use Schneider Electric Sew Move software to interface Altivar 312 VFD with the induction motor. After watching this video, you will be able to control the induction motor using command panel in the Sew Move software and using analog input of Altivar 312 series VFD. The communication cable used to connect VFD with the PC is USB to RJ45 as shown in the picture. Here I am using Seneca test as a source generator to generate 0 to 10 volt DC. The common terminal and AI1 analog input 1 of VFD is connected to source generator Seneca test 4 whereas the terminal plus 24 and LI1 of VFD is connected to on off switch this on off switch is responsible to turn on and off the motor Whereas the Seneca test 4 is responsible to provide 0 to 10 volt DC to Altivar VFD so that the VFD can up and down the motor speed. Now open the so move software and do the steps as mentioned in the Here you can set the acceleration ramp time, acceleration deceleration ramp time, low speed and high speed, motor thermal current. The customer scale factor is multiplied with the frequency, output frequency to show the RPM of the motor. Now move towards the monitor window.
and select the monitoring parameters as mentioned in the video. Now open the command panel. You can control the motor speed on and off through the command panel. Press Alter plus F. Press start. Since the frequency reference is 0 Hz, so the motor is not running. Now I'm going to increase the frequency. You can see the motor speed as 4.9 and 5. This is equal to the output frequency because we have chosen the scale 1. This means that uh, 1 multiplied by 5 gives you 5. So usually this scale should be set to 30 for 4 pole motor and 60 for two pole motor you can also see the motor thermal state is increasing continuously this is because i have set the parameter normal motor thermal protection to a least value so that we can easily find out that uh, the motor thermal state is working correctly. Now this uh, customer scale factor should be set to 30 for 4 pole motor. This gives you a maximum 1500 rpm at 50 hertz frequency. Also, slightly increase the motor thermal current. Now run the motor again. You can see the RPM of the motor is increased by 30. Means 5 multiplied by 30 is 150. This gives you the motor speed. In this method, you can control the motor speed using your laptop or desktop.
now in this scope window you can see the parameters frequency reference output frequency motor current and lines main voltage now increase the reference frequency to 15 now reduce to 10 The sampling duration can also change. Now the record time has increased to one minute. Here the recording is complete. These are all the options. You can export all the values. You can also export the values in the Excel file. Here you can see the values Now turn off the command panel and check the controlling using analog signals using terminal. Here you can see the status of LI 1A input. This is responsible to turn on and off the motor.
now one volt is applied in the analog input one by source generator Seneca test four the voltage has been increased to two and then three one volt gives you five hertz increase in frequency so 5 volts gives, gives you 25 hertz frequency in this way you can easily interface ltvar bfd with any plc using analog input thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe if you like this video thank you